Hello to all of my comic book fans, Dante D here, and welcome to the channel where we talk about comic books and other geek stuff. Today's video is going to be especially uh, for new collectors. We're going to be talking about comic book lingo, comic book vocabulary that you all should know. But before we dive into the video, just wanted to ask you all to do me a favor. Normally, I'm sure you've all noticed if, if you've been watching my videos for a while, I hate asking for subscribers. I just feel like every single YouTuber out there asks for subscribers, but I have a goal in mind. I'm on the road now to reaching 10,000 subscribers. I'm about, at the time of the recording of this video, I'm a little, um, little under 1,500 subscribers short of reaching my 10,000 goal. If you could please all do me a favor, leave a like, subscribe, heck, leave a dislike if you don't like the video and comment, let me know what you didn't like about the video. That would all be much appreciated. And I promise from now on, you're going to be getting at least two videos a week from me. For a while, I kind of disappeared a bit. I work in healthcare and the pandemic's really been keeping me busy. But uh, now I am at a point where I'm finding some time during the day, my lunch hour, to make videos, and I promise you, two videos minimum a week from me. So please hit that subscribe button, hit that like, leave me a comment, let me know what you're liking on the channel, what you're not liking on the channel, and together we can make this community grow. So with that out of the way, let's get into the video. This is comic book lingo and vocab that you should know. Getting into a new hobby a lot of times can be difficult because hobby communities are a world in and of themselves and the comic book collecting community is no exception as a comic book collector for many years uh, i've learned some really interesting lingo and vocabulary that's particular to comic book collectors that i would like to share with you now i just want to uh remind you and to point out that comic book lingo might vary from region to region, but overall uh, the, these uh, terms are understood by most collectors. So here we go with our first term, bag and board. This one is pretty self-explanatory. This refers to poly bags and backer boards. Uh, this is what comic book collectors use to protect the comic books. Now, there are multiple different types of uh, backer boards and poly bags that, and bags in general that you could use. Um, one material is called polypropylene, which is much cheaper uh, and more cost effective uh, when you're trying to bag and board a lot of comics. And the other alternative is mylar. Mylar is a lot more expensive, but offers usually uh, better protection for your comic books. Uh, I switched to mylar a long time ago, and uh, I, I personally really like it. it. makes the comic books look really, really great. Let me know in the comments, in, in the comments what you prefer. Uh, do you like poly bags or do you like mylar? Backer boards, uh, they're usually, they don't really vary that much. The only thing you want to make sure of is that everything is acid free because uh, acid really can destroy uh, the comic books. Moving on the guide you know you'll hear people in conversation sometimes saying the guide well the guide they're talking about is the uh the overstreet comic book price guide now this comic book price guide is uh the what's considered to be the gold standard of uh comic book price guides the overstreet comic book price guide has been around since i think it's mid 1970s and they release a new edition of this price guide every couple years uh, this is the most recent one, actually, and uh, if you're looking to pick this up, I will leave a link in the description where you can pick up your own copy of this. Uh, this price guide is exactly what it says it is. It is a guide. It suggests prices for comic books, but uh, you'll probably find if you're looking for a particular comic book in the guide and then you see how it is priced online or other places, you'll oftentimes find, actually more often than not, find that uh, a key issue or a particular book that you're looking for is priced higher in reality than it actually is in the Overstreet comic book price guide. Slab. This is another one. This is very common. Uh, you hear people say, oh yeah, I'm going to get this slabbed or, oh yeah, I got this new slabbed comic and 
What is a slab? Okay, well, uh, slab refers to a comic book that has been professionally graded and encased. So uh, usually what happens is you'll send your comic book off to a company, whether it be CGC or PGX, whatever, uh, and they will go through your comic book with a fine tooth comb and assign uh, a grade to that comic book and then encapsulate it in this like plastic material and everything. Once it's in there, you can't take it out again. Um, if you do, you would have to get it re-graded -re again. Uh, but uh, that's essentially what um, slabbing re refers to. And I think I might do a video just on comic book grading and professionally grading uh, because opinions on comic book grading and getting your books graded uh, vary in the comic book community. Splash page. Uh, this is, uh, I actually really like the sound of that term, splash page. Uh, but um, what a splash page refers to is... Uh, the first page of a comic book. It usually is that very first page of the comic book, but it isn't always, okay? Uh, the splash page is meant to capture a reader's attention, and uh, it also contains the title of the story and uh, the credits for, for the creative team. Uh, splash pages are an art form in and of themselves, and I, I, I think they're great. So many awesome splash pages I've seen over the years. Panel. Uh, now, panel is uh, an essential term for any comic book fan, comic book collector, because the panel is a part of the basic anatomy of a comic book. Uh, it's just those little boxes that contain the pictures and the words. Floppy. <laughs> now, uh, floppy is a term, I don't know if it's just used in my region. Uh, I live in southwestern Ontario, uh, not too far from the Detroit border. So I guess that would be Midwest. And uh, people in my area call them floppies all the time. But what floppies refer to, uh, to me anyway, are they are individual issues of comic books, okay, uh, as opposed to the trade paperbacks. Uh, but it also can refer to comic books that have not been bagged and boarded. I've also heard raw uh, for comic books that have not been bagged and boarded. Uh, but uh, I, I personally call them floppies. You know, I, I I prefer to read floppies over trade paperbacks. Or some people will say, you know, I prefer the trades over over the floppies. So uh, yeah, let me know if in your area this term is used, and let me know where you're from. The trade. I, I was just talking about trades uh, in our previous uh, slide, and uh, basically what a trade refers to is just a graphic novel uh, that refers to a trade paperback. Uh, trade paperbacks uh, collect various issues of a, of a particular comic book series all into one book. So you're getting, every time you're buying a trade paperback, you're getting a complete story. Uh, this is now how I prefer to read comic books because you're getting that complete story. I'm, as time goes on, I'm becoming more of a reader rather than a collector. Uh, but uh, let me know what you prefer. Do you prefer to read, uh, reading floppies or uh, do you prefer trade paperbacks? And con, con, okay, uh, not con artists or anything like that, but uh, a con just refers to a comic book convention. If you've never been to one, I really would encourage you uh, to visit one once they start doing cons again. This is a variant cover. I've actually had people ask me about variant covers uh, before. Might do a video just on variant covers in the future, but um, this is actually a little bit of my opinion too, but uh, a, a variant cover to me is a gimmick that's used to increase the perceived collectability of a particular issue, okay? So it's essentially the same comic book. It's the same as the standard edition in terms of story and what you find within the comic book, just the cover is different, okay? Uh, and also variants are produced in smaller quant quantities. I personally do not collect variants. Uh, I think variants are kind of a waste uh, because it's the same comic book, okay? And I know people that are more readers than collectors that would agree with me. Uh, but, you know, variants, I don't like them just because they're used to drive the collector's market in comic books. Comic books are great as collectibles. I just really don't care for when they're using gimmicks to 
stimulate the uh, the collecting craze over over comic books. But that, that's just my opinion. Let me know what you think of variants. I think I only have one variant in my collection. It is actually this particular variant of uh, Batman number one from the New 52. But other than that, I think I just have standard editions uh, of, of comic books. But again, let me know uh, what you think of variants. Do you like them? Do you collect them? And if you do, let me know why you personally like variants. And last on our list is indies, okay? Uh, indies refer to independent comic books. So these are basically not Marvel or DC comic books. Uh, the most, I, I think the most famous indie comic book publishing company is Image Comics, uh, which came into prominence in the 1990s. Uh, this is where creators own all the rights to their work as opposed to the company or the corporation. So if you work for Marvel, you work for DC, and you create a character that makes it big, Marvel and DC own the rights to that character. Yeah, you maybe get some royalties, but uh, overall, Marvel and DC own that character, and they have uh, they make all the profit from toys, merchandise, movie appearances, etc., etc. So that about does it for our video today. Really, really hoped you enjoyed it. I would love to hear from you all. Are there any comic book terms that you've heard over your years of, of collecting? would really like to hear because, like I said, these terms may vary from region to region. As always, this is Dante D signing off. I will see you all in the next episode.